Y'all got to get a load of this mess. Holy cow. This is going out Highway 111 North. Heading back towards my house from Chattanooga. Just beautiful. I took some other pictures with my cell phone too. I turned around when I did this. 
I'd have missed out on all of this. I actually went looking for a vape shop to try and find some corals. Because I think by the time I got home, I wouldn't have any corals left. And I'd be just out of luck for getting any. So, tried to find a couple of vape shops here in Chattanooga. One of them thinks their stuff is worth gold prices. One of them was still advertised as an active business and there wasn't a thing in the store. I mean, they didn't even have any baseboards down. It was ripped off of the wall and bare sheetrock showing through. No cabinets, no furniture, no nothing. But it was still saying active business. Then uh, I took a shot one more. Going through Pixel. And uh, got lucky enough to get one coil. The lady told me she had four. And uh, came back and said, I'm sorry, I told you wrong. We did. Evidently, somebody had sold the other three. We only have one. I'm not even going to charge you for it. I just gave it to you. I was like, oh, well, that was nice. Okay. Ooh. I need to find out where this stuff is coming about. Because this is a beautiful Tennessee highway. Of course, it's going up over some serious mountain road too, so there's that. But, wow. This one, there's a truck like mine. Nope, that one's a dually. It's a mega cab dually though. If I see the right lookout, my butt is stopping. This would be hard on a a big vehicle because you'd eat right through what every bit of gas. Of course, right now, as cheap as regular gas is, not that big a deal. Of course, we still don't need to be burning up all of our resources if we can help it. All kinds of little waterfalls coming out of these rocks on on the sides of the road here. Uh. That's interesting. Keep riding by, and I hear I don't don't see them, but I hear them as I pass. Yeah, buddy. Get far enough out here where nobody knows you, or where nobody. Nobody would think to look for you. You go completely off grid in a place like this and be perfectly fine. Of course, you'd have to know some people here, know some things about people here, like where their property runs to. And I'm not sure if it's in this area or not. As a matter of fact, I'm pretty sure it isn't. But 
there's one place in Tennessee oh. that did not have any utilities whatsoever except water until 2002. They did not have electricity. Don't ask me what they did for electricity. I haven't got a clue. But they can get by until 2002 with no electricity. That says a lot. I'll have to look at it. I think it's in the in the mountains up up towards uh, further up towards South Carolina or uh, yeah, I believe it was up towards uh, either North or South Carolina up in the Appalachian Mountains. You know the ones I'm driving in right now. Boy, they strip cut it the heck out of that wood. Either that or tornadoes come through and kill it all off. I'm leaning more towards the, oh. since it's just that one spot, I'm leaning more towards somebody went in there trying to harvest trees for lumber. What the heck is this? say nothing about that he wasn't out on the main road and he sure wasn't causing any problems that's why I need to be a cop from some small town there's certain things I would not want to see and I already know this because I see them saw that right I stopped at Dollar General <clears throat> trying to find those Super Bowls basically a big bowl of ramen noodles I tried one of them and kind of got hung on them hung up on them and can't get enough of them now and of course with all the crap that's going on with the virus and everything. Everybody's snatching them up like it's gonna, like it's got the cure for cancer in them little bowls and it don't. God, oh, there's some beautiful houses out here. Tucked way back in the woods. Oh. Still see the see the house through the trees though. Nice little creeks winding all down alongside the road and out into the property down here. Just 
beautiful. Of course. Didn't have a gas hog vehicle living out here. Or if he did, you'd have to roll around constantly with, uh, yeah, unable to establish a wireless connection. You just, I'm not trying to tether data. You just put my GPS right back up there where it was, you piece of crap. behind me. Oh, and he's turning. Maybe that's what it was. He wanted me to go faster like everybody else does through here. Problem is, I'm in the company car. I can't go fast in here. I can't even go as fast as, I, as the speed limit here because Scratchy through because uh, they'll uh, probably try and say it, it was unsafe. I could run this whole stinking highway end to end at over a hundred miles an hour and not be unsafe at all. I can drive some of them twisty, curvy Pennsylvania roads and uh, the really, really twisty stuff in Knoxville. The twisty, dangerous stuff. I know what kind of fishing's in that little pond. Beautiful. Mm. I smell deer. I smell deer really strong. And y'all think I'm stupid. Deer is one animal that does not bathe. In fact, very rarely do you even see them get in the water. And because of that fact, they get a little musky sometimes. They've got a certain smell to them. In. Must be some bed and breakfast or something. God, this is just beautiful up here, though. I know I keep saying that, but it is. I mean, even the trees aren't even in full blossom of the leaves and everything yet. But it is still really, really nice looking up here. You know you're in, in country, like the doggone GPS won't work for crap. Keeps 
cutting off and minimizing. And if I leave it set like that without screwing with it, it'll shut completely off. And I'll be riding home when I get about like an hour or so down the road and forget it's on. And that thing will... Oh, crap. Boss Man calls. Over there, the sky looks like it's on fire. I guess technically it kind of is. gotta go to bed so they can get up at three and four o'clock in the morning to start their, their chores or their farm animals. to 55, now it's 55 to 45. And I always set it a couple miles an hour below. I know it's going to tick some people off, but oh, it's a nice little community. Quite a few people here too, actually. Hmm. Kind of bet they 
probably still don't have very good internet here though. Just call it a hunch. I mean, they may, but I'm doubting it. Those cable TV lines and the ones on the bottom aren't as thick as the ones around my house. Which means that they don't carry that much signal. Radio station right there. Of some sort, or it may just be a dispatch station for the local police or sheriff. Changed it, it's still 45 here. Why I have no clue who I like that house. Still got 9.4 miles to go yet. Oh, we're going all around Pikeville. Okay, it said Pikeville that way. North, still 45 miles an hour. You can see I'm doing 43. Nobody around me to get ticked off that I'm not going the speed limit or that I'm going a little below it. So. Hmm. Stopping at that one. If you give me a day, in fact, I'm not stopping anymore on this whole highway because uh, I kind of hear banjos playing, if you know what I mean. I'm no Ned Beatty and I don't squeal like a pig. They just have to go ahead and shoot me. Oh boy, 8% grade. Well, looks like we've been traveling across the top of the mountain and now we're coming down off of it. If you think I'm playing, there's a sign. Eight percent. Of course, it didn't say for how long. It may just be this little, little jump here. Ooh, she geared down. Oh. As far as I know, it's still 45. I didn't see anything that said it was. That's wild. This thing just, it's like it threw a transmission brake on or something to slow it back down. Wasn't doing it, but that was cool that it at least tried. Oh, now it's up to 55 and it's a 9% grade. So what we're doing is going straight for flat out for a while and then down. I'm going to leave this at 45. Two 
different uh, runs of mountains. Rode up the hill and across the top of several mountains. And now we're coming back down on the proper side. She's still not liking this descent thing. Sitting there just I've never had a car throw the transmission brake on like that before. It's all right, I can use the original brake. They want to cut my feet off and Make it to where I can't go that fast. I'll burn the brakes right off this sucker. Don't make no difference to me. They can pay to put them right back on it. Wow. That is beautiful. All the cows out there. Pay attention to my speed. Multitasking. Beautiful. asking me well, why are you uh why do you film all out in the middle of nowhere like that i find out in the middle of nowhere an attractive place except one exception when i went out to utah or uh, idaho rather and i had to go out around the Adirondacks or whatever the heck those are out there. That mountain chain. Because over half of Idaho is mountain. I went down, uh, landed in Topeka. Went to my job at Lowe's the night that I landed there. I was two hours late because of the airport. Showed up and there was two assists working already. Oh, I smell lake water. Oh yeah, I do. Oh. I'm gonna smell like water hose. That's weird. Anyway, um, I went to, landed in Topeka, drove to Coeur d'Alene, Idaho. There were two assists there, and they had done two of the registers. The other two were broken and had to go back. So I hurried up and helped them do those two, and then decided to go to my hotel room which was at the bottom of the state if there had been a direct path from the top of the state to the bottom of the state without going over a mountain it would have taken me about five and a half hours which I was good with maybe six But, no, no, 
they got to send me back through Topeka, Washington and way the heck out into the middle of Oregon where there's nothing at which is why that's what I kept saying in that video a whole lot of nothing I wasn't kidding I mean you can see for yourself on the video there wasn't jack out there but tumbleweeds dirt and highway <coughs> and the longer you rode on that thing on that highway the, the worse that got got to the southern part of Oregon and was getting ready to head back into uh, the Boise area all those uh, eighty mile an hour speed limit signs that just tickled me pink I love the whole idea of that. I don't know why they can't do that everywhere. Okay, 0.6 miles. What are we doing here? <sighs> Dang it. Point four miles. Quarter mile, slight right to stay on Tennessee 111 North. Why would I want to do that? Sparta? Surely this isn't dumping me out right at the top of Nashville. Take the next right to stay on Tennessee 111 North. McMinnville. Continue on Tennessee 111 North for 20 miles. Well, it's not like I got a whole lot of choice. I think Minville's actually quite a ways down, but... Dang, we're so out in the country here right now that... There ain't even speed limit signs. Dang! Fresh mm -hmm, mm -hmm. hamburger! fresher than most people like it. Yeah, I had no clue this highway was here. This is a nice highway to get on and just drive and think. I haven't had a place like that in years. I lived in Georgia. We were right dead in the middle of the state. And depending on my mood, that de determined which way I traveled. I'd be all disappointed or upset about a girlfriend or something silly like that. I'd get in my car or get in my truck and head south. If I was upset at friends, I 
I'd get in my truck or car and head north. Go hang out at the bars in Atlanta while I was under age. Let's just say you probably can't get into those bars at underage anymore. But I used to love just going for a drive and just thinking about stuff. I didn't get in fights. Well, I did, but not... Not ones that I started usually. There were a couple, but typically somebody else always got it going. up tomorrow and take my butt to Knoxville actually just south of Knoxville well, what in the world that is down where my son and his girlfriend actually live again they lived there one time before finally got out and then this COVID mess hit and they moved to Sevierville which was not the brightest thing I could have done. Now they're right back where they started. This is why people buy Fords. Lack of options. Nothing more. What highway is this? 70. Haven't got a clue. But at least this is a little more densely populated and there's businesses here. And I'm gonna have to hit the old gas station soon. Zaxby's up there. If I hadn't already had Arby's, I'd be uh, heading that way. Anyway, I think I'm going to enjoy a little bit more of this countryside, but it's getting dark, so it's not going to show up on the camera all that well. And since we're in a little more populated area, I'm going to go ahead and shut this thing off right now. And uh, talk to you again soon in the next one.